What's up guys, today is Friday. Finally, Friday, cause today is Snap On Friday. But, and I do mean but, Hamilton is not here because of the ice and he can't get out on the roads and all that, but he made a super special exclusion just for you guys so you'll get to see him anyway. So you'll get your weekly fix of Hamilton. So let's see what he's got going on. Come on. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. <laughs> we have nothing this week. Nothing. I stand. Um, just some little jobs, you know, stuff mostly gel fuel, froze brakes, you know, how it is. Typical 10 degree stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've been on a week long vacation. So, what does the snap on man do for a whole week of not having to work? Um, I don't know if I'd call it vacation. I can see right now I'm out here in my carport. I got a house full of kids in here. I got my two. And then my daughter got two of her friends that have been here all week with us. Because uh, apparently when you're a 15-year-old girl, you can't go more than like two days without seeing all your best friends and stuff, you know? Uh, yeah. So we, was, we was tasked with uh, harboring them for the week. But besides that, just been uh, playing in the snow and ice. Trying to stay warm. We've been eating like kings around here this week because uh, we did go buy a whole bunch of groceries being prepared for all this. Mm -hmm. and I also done tore up my bathroom in the my master bedroom where we're doing the whole shower unit in it. So I guess you haven't run at all because of the ice, huh? No, I tried to get in my truck just to move it. Uh, I think it was uh, Wednesday. Today's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Snap on Friday. Yeah. I tried just to move it. Wednesday, it was probably like at 2 o'clock in the evening with the sun was shining. I was like, sun shining, the snow and ice is getting a little soft. I might get a little traction, maybe like three feet and just started spinning. So that was funny just to see if it'd do anything. But I have been out the house. So I've been to a Home Depot a couple of times. I can go get supplies for since we're doing the shower installing here. Buying some new Milwaukee stuff. Uh, well, the only Milwaukee thing I got <laughs> is a uh, heat gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody's been wondering where he is at. They're like, what happened to Hamilton last week? I said, well, he's sick. And uh, we did a live stream last Friday, and everybody's like, oh, he ain't got the Rona, does he? Yeah, like, no, nah, I had Rona, just stomach bug. Uh, had something I ate, apparently. And I started working that day, and about 9 o'clock, or I eat breakfast that morning, same place I eat every Friday morning. Uh, about 9 o'clock, I started, well, I wasn't feeling good. 9.30, I was throwing up. 9.45, I couldn't hardly even stand up. Uh, so I came on to the house. Uh, of course, my wife, she's like, you think you need to go get tested? I said, I'm throwing up. I ain't got the Rona, you know? <laughs> and uh, so dealt with that and... Probably Sunday around 2, 3 o'clock. I mean, Saturday around 2, 3 o'clock. I was feeling a lot better. Still didn't get out and go nowhere. Sunday, I was up moving around a little bit, and I was feeling good Sunday back to normal. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're back, and hopefully all this will melt. This We're supposed to be up in the 50s tomorrow and, and next couple of days. So. Yeah, sun shining, so I think it would be good. Yeah, hopefully everything will get back to normal. I'm Man, it's, it took me, uh, of course, I only live like, I don't know, probably 12 miles, I guess, from the shop. And uh yeah. took over 45 minutes to drive to work this morning. Yeah. That's, I know, like, well, I can, from here, we can be in Chipo in, like, 25 minutes normally. Mm -hmm. Depot the other day, me and my wife did, uh, for two reasons. One, we'd get some back of board, mortar, and floor and stuff for our shower. And two, to get away from all these dying kids we got here right now, you know. Uh, Normally, we run to Home Depot and back in like an hour, 15, hour and a half. It was almost four hours by the time we got to Chipolo, got everything we needed because, of course, they only got one register. They're slim people working on there, which I, mean, I understand that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and get back up here. I'm in an hour driving on a normal 25-minute drive, you know. 
Well, I don't know how they did in your part of the world, but here it was all, you know, about two inches, three inches of ice on the roads and it was yep. slick. Then we got four inches of snow and it, it set on top of the ice. So you was able to drive anywhere you wanted to, you know, the day before yesterday, it was great. We was able to just go anywhere. Yeah. And, uh, I'm talking about like running 40, you know, it was fine. Then the county come in and scraped all the snow off and left the ice. So it was <laughs> super <laughs> slick then. <laughs> yeah. I know yesterday was real bad slick. Cause like I said, the sun was out Wednesday and then, so everything started melting down a little bit and the roads started smoothing off. And I was, that's what I told my wife. I said, it's going to be bad sleep uh, Wednesday evening. Cause I, the sun was out to about 12, 31. By 3.30, it was, I mean, the roads was slick, slick again. And yesterday, that was all real slick. I ain't even been out on the road yet today. Uh, but my driveway, I mean, or you've been to my house. I mean, you got a little steep mm -hmm. hill onto the road. So, I mean, you got to have four-wheel drive getting in and out of there. Well, I know, uh, let's see, it was yesterday morning. It was fine, you know, and then it's like it, we got a little sun on it. Of course, after they graded it back down to the ice, it was just slick, completely slick. And we'd be going like 10 mile an hour and you'd start slide and you'd let out of it and you'd catch. So yep. about 10 was all you could do. You know, it, it was terrible. And, you know, coming to work this morning was really, really bad because where everybody tracked over that, it refroze overnight. You know, yeah. tonight it's supposed to get down to 16 again. You know, I know people up north, they laugh at us for this little bit of weather we got. But, you know, I tried yeah. to explain them, you know, our system here is not set up for snow. Like the last time we had snow and ice was like 94. Yeah, so they don't, bad, yeah. you know, they don't, uh, we don't have the road crews that set up to plow and salt trucks and all of that, you know, because we never have it. And man, it just cripples the south bad. Yeah, that's what uh, I was talking with a buddy of mine. He works for DLT at the way station in uh, Tishomingo uh, County. And he said they got one snowplow. All of Tishomingo County, one snowplow. And they said that thing's been busy just on 72 and 25, just the main highways if they ain't got time. And uh, it's like the county, all the supervisors and stuff, they, I mean, they can't spend the money on all that. That's going to be used once every few years. I mean, yeah. even the state department up only got one per county. Mm -hmm. so my mom lives in Iowa. I got a lot of family up there. Of course, I mean, they all been, I think it's funny and stuff. Like I said, with snow, snow, but you can't drive on ice. And even up there, uh, when it ices up north, they don't get out. They stay in. Mm -hmm. Of course, you got every redneck that owns an ice mobile around here. So you have to get out and explore, you know. Well, the, the, the you ditches. know, the thing is in the south, this is the first time I remember since like the 80s that we actually had the powder snow. It's normally that wet, that you know, really half good. ice, yep. frozen rain, whatever you want to call it, snow. And uh, this was actually the fluffy, like, this was some skiing snow that we had this yeah. time. It was great, you know. But I enjoyed it. It was fun. I'm, yeah, I'm ready I mean, for it to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like I love the snow and stuff, and I like for it to come every year, at least for like one, maybe two days at the most, and then get going. You know, I'm ready for a uh, summertime. Like we've been pulling the uh, knee board around and wake board. I took the fans off the wake board and pulled it behind the uh, side by side and stuff. That's how much we're, we're ready for a uh, summer yeah. weather. I, you know, that's what I told everybody. I said normally this time of the year we're in mid sixties to seventies. You know, yeah. and this is rough on us. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to that. We're used to about last a three week. week. What, 72 degrees last week? Mm -hmm. You know, we're used to that kind of short winter period. You know, uh, it's a wonder, to be honest with you, I have to give our power companies here credit because the maintenance that they've done all year, we had not lost any power. Yep. You know, they, they really, I know, you know, Lee County's got a great power system too. And, We've been fortunate to to be a part of that because there's a lot of counties that lost power. You know, in Texas, they're getting slammed with all their people out of power, but our and guys I, have I, done a good job. Have you read up on the Texas thing? See, from what I've seen, all it is is the uh, windmills and everything is froze up. Yeah. For not generating no power. So they said the power company shutting them off. 
uh, and turn them off like 30 minutes on and like a couple hours off and stuff in a lot of places and a lot of places ain't got no power at all. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's just crazy that you think some place like Texas that averages close to 100 degrees for the year. Yeah. Froze in. Don't they? Well, I know I've seen an article last night and uh, I sent it to Brent Sheffield. This guy in Texas had bought a 2021 hybrid F-150 and he's powering his home with the onboard generator that's oh, hey. built in the, you know, the back of the truck. Yeah. And uh, it was a pretty cool article. Like he run extension cords in there and they was able to have their appliances running TV and this and that. Obviously it's not strong enough to run a heat system, but he said, you know, it made it worth buying the truck. And that's, that's one advantage of, of having something like that, you know, which, I mean, we've got a gas generator and, um, Luckily, we haven't had to use it, but we was prepared with it. Like, I mean, I, I rednecked it up, buddy. I had, like, the redneck survival kit ready. Yeah. <laughs> we, had, we had a propane fish cooker, and that way we could at least have a way to cook, you know. And, and uh, you know, I had the generator where we could have some power there. And But thank God we didn't have to use any of it. Look at this. I mean, I got a huge grill around back, but got a little propane tank. Yeah. And my grill right here. That's what I've been cooking on uh, when we were on grills. Of course, on the 18-inch surface, it takes a lot longer to cook than it does on the 48-inch grill around back. But so are, you, it up, so. are you doing like the hibachi stuff where you flip the shrimp <laughs> tails and all that? No, nah, I just I just do the redneck style. I ain't trying to put nothing over in it, land on the ground. My dog eat it. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, I, I definitely appreciate you making the time for us today everybody was like man what's up with hamilton like you're a popular man everybody wants to see you so yeah, i've been getting texts all week a lot of people been checking on me and stuff that's what i'm saying i'm good now <laughs> of course and like i said get sick and sunday night we went out to eat because we knew that it was uh getting bad and uh so we went out to eat and on the way home stopped and picked up these girls so they can come over and stay with us for the week I think one of them got a single mom and she's a nurse or something. So she actually been staying at the uh, hospital. She's been working every day. Yeah. I think 16 on, eight off. Holy cow. Sunday night. So, I mean, it's good that we went to her because she'd been at home by herself all week. Mm-hmm. And the other one, uh, her dad's in the military. He works here close, but he has been staying on base over there because they're, uh, I'm not sure exactly what all they're doing. And I'm not sure about her mom, what all she's been up to. But, yeah, we got them. And we actually got out the other night uh, just riding around. And, of course, going to a Mexican restaurant, but the only thing that's open around here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think if we pulled up to the Mexican restaurant, there's what, 13, 14 side-by-sides and eight or ten folders out there. <laughs> that's the way it was here. Like, you'd have to, you'd have to wait in line. Um, yeah. for the, you know, side-by-sides and four-wheelers to go through just so you can go. There's so many yeah. of them. But uh, what they did here that was really cool is the the nurses, um, the ones that's doing home health, they've been going on side-by-sides because everything was so froze over, you know. Yeah. They've been traveling on side-by-sides. Like, that's dedication, dude, right there. Like, those girls that are doing that, the state should recognize them and do something special for them because, man, they ain't many places that they would go to that extent, you know, to, to get out and see their patients. Yeah, it's, no it's doubt. It's amazing. That's, yeah, that's a – I mean, that's, being a nurse and stuff, to me, it takes a special kind of people anyway because you see some sad stuff out there, and I'm not, I wouldn't be cut out for that. My sister's a nurse. She works in cheap load. Of course, I mean, she's been off all week because she works at a clinic. They've been closed. But uh, they, they've got a enclosed side-by-side side with a heater and everything. So, like she said, if they would have had the work, just drove that. But luckily, they've been off, and she didn't have to deal with it. Uh, but, yeah, that's a, it takes a special kind of person to be to do what they do. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't. I couldn't do it, you know, like. Uh, me neither. The people that does the home hospice, man, that's got to be the hardest job on earth right there. Like, yeah. honestly, it's, it's got to be. be. I wouldn't want to be affiliated with anything with that word hospice in it because that's, I had some uh, real good buddy of mine had stage four pancreatic cancer. When he found out about it, 
And they would put him straight in on hospice. I mean, he was walking around fine one day, and the next day he was laying in the bed, bedridden. Yeah. And it's just sad when you go into the hospice house over there. That's a that's a sad place. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I couldn't, man. I it takes a really special person, like you say, to do that because. I don't know, man. I, it would be hard to get up every day knowing that this may be the last time you see your patient, you know, and, and they do it, you know, and, the, and they're, they're always positive and upbeat. And that's, that's something special that, that those people are gifted with, you know. But. Yeah, no doubt. And thank you. I'll just ride around in the truck. I was having people throw money at me, what it seems like compared to. Like that. <laughs> that's what happens. Like all you snap on guys are that way. You just that's, that's what everybody says. I mean, like, dude, you got a gravy job. Why you they ride around people throw money at you? So I'm working to the up to that spot where I ain't got to stop. I just leave the door open. They've tied a rubber band, just sling it in the door, and I don't even have to stop. That's where you know you got it made. Well, you got it made. I tell you, if if I had <laughs> it to do over again, I think I would have tried to get me a snap on truck where I could just ride around. Wave at people, open the door, let them jump on there and give me a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, all you guys have got it made. Every one of you tool truck guys. That's what everybody <laughs> says. Y'all got it made. So. That's that's why I hear that all the time. Every day I hear that. Making a killing. Making a killing. Yep. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's how you can afford that big old flat top grill you cooking on top of a snap on toolbox. Oh, this ain't a toolbox. This is a freezer, a dick freezer. Oh, oh okay. See that? That's even more fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody thinks it's a toolbox, but now it's a dick freezer. Full of deer meat. It is full of deer meat right now. And deer and pig. There you go. <laughs> well, man, I ain't going to keep you no longer. Uh, I know you're probably freezing to death out there in the carport. I'm getting back aboard all morning and get, put them up in the shower stall. There you go. Well, thank you very much for making the time for everybody and letting everybody yes, see you. And, and you know you're safe. We know you're alive. We know you're healthy. So that's a good thing. Yeah. All right, man. Well, have a good day. And hopefully we'll catch you next week and uh, everything will be back to normal. Yeah. I think it'll be 70 something. So we, I might be wearing shorts next week. Can't never tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get you one of those uh, Hawaiian snap-on shirts like Herschel wears. Yeah, I could have been wearing that today out here. Yeah. yeah you'd have needed some Band-Aids. you have been a little sore in two spots. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> I got my pullover on. I'm still cold out here right now. I know, man. It's cold. I, I was 30 a while ago, so. Yeah, I think, I think it was 34 here. Of course, you yeah. got rolling off the top of the house. Melting a little bit. Yeah, that's what it's doing here. Hopefully, it'll keep on. But anyway, yeah. we'll let you get back to work. I appreciate you making time for us. And if you need anything, like I could come help you, but it'll probably dark by the time I get there. <laughs> be supper time. We could eat at least. There you go. We'll run my card today. I know most guys, you know, they try to avoid their payment with their tool guy if he's not coming, but run my card. We're all good. So all right, that'll work. We'll get done here in a little bit. All right, man. Well, we'll catch you next time. And like always, guys, if you like this video, be sure to tell Hamilton thanks for making the special effort to be here. Hit the thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. And we will catch you guys next Friday. See ya.